Welcome everybody to another section session of Breath of Fire Circle Wednesdays. Ah, where I, Breathmaster Aaron Motley, your global community elder, am your guide, leading you to health and happiness through the breath. Hi, good people. Debbie, there's a guy up in Toronto that I need to hook you up with. So check this out, y'all. Y'all know that I am the breath master that I do all of this breath work and what have you. So this past strong beginning, i.e. Saturday, March 27th, I was at an event down in South Carolina called the Gullah Geechee Herbal Gathering. And that was the second annual iteration of that event. It's going to go on and on and on because it's part of an ancestral calling and assignment for the good sister Ketnu Nefer. So you can look her up at Gullah Geechee Herbal Gathering on Instagram and um, Gullah Geechee Herbal Gathering dot com on the web and we had a scenario where it was supposed to be a dual live and uh in-person scenario well the live broadcast didn't quite come off so she's going to do a retake of that and so i will be part of that retake along with the other 10 presenters so if you want to get in on that and i'm telling you it's phenomenal the beauty of the lot the the way it's going now is that you will have the opportunity to view each and every presenter, whereas at the event, there were two and three presentations going on at a time, so you wouldn't be able to see that. So go to www.gullahgeecheeherbalgathering.com and uh, check that out if you want to be a, a part of that process. A lot, a lot of good information. Some of the things I shared are some of the things that I share here and in the Breath Master Certification. You know, you always got to give some tidbits to get people thoroughly interested and aware of what it is that they um, are going to be gifted with. So today I did, just because I can, 3,000 consecutive breath of fire. There's always a, every now and then you got to stop and just swallow some saliva that's accumulating in your mouth. Last strong I did, last Wednesday I did uh, 1,000 specifically for the demonstration. So I'm always talking about different aspects of the breath of fire, different aspects of the breath and how you can utilize it for your betterment, for your health and well-being. I got a question from a guy who said that um, he did some research and he was given a few cautions. One of them that the breath of fire can be um, problematic, I'll put it like that, for someone with high blood pressure. Now, if you got high blood pressure, typically you're not going to be overexerting yourself because you got to keep it you know, slow and mellow. So definitely, if you have high blood pressure, you don't want to get really deep into the breath of fire, except if you are having an actual panic attack and you can't slow down, then you want to use the breath, as I said before, to catch up. Use the breath of fire to catch up with the pace of your breath when you're going through that panic attack so you can really bring it down. And then once you get <clears throat> aligned with your breath, you can slow it down, you know, kind of like um, the baton passing uh, for uh, people who are in relay races. You know, the, the person who's waiting, stands there waiting and what have you, and they start to trot. And the person who is carrying the baton keeps racing and what have you, so that at a given point, they're at the same speed and then they tr hand off the baton. But once they hand off the baton, the person who's continuing the race speeds on, but you, at, at that point, you're the person who released the baton. So you want to release that baton, let go of that rapid pace breath and begin to slow down to the normal pace breathing. Same as the person who passed the baton, you're slowing down to a normal, um, you know, pace of your movement, i.e. walking, you know. Um, so I'm going to give, give a slight demo of how we catch up with the breath, say, you're panicking, you're, your heart's racing, you, you know, you got shortness of breath, you're, you know, and, and you just can't catch up, you know, you can't slow down. So you got to catch up with your breath. So the best way to do that is to, and if you can't really acclimate to the breath of fire through the nostrils, then you 
and slow it down. And as you slow it down, the heart rate will slow, and the pressure will come down. And then when you, as I say, land the plane, when you go, and fully exhaust that breath, at that point, you have caught up with the breath, and your blood pressure will begin to lower. Remember, you can use the breath to lower blood pressure. The breath master technique is a slow methodical technique that allows that to happen continuously automatically. If you are in a panic attack and what have you, and you have high blood pressure, then you can use the breath of fire to catch it with the breath and then to slow it down. If you have blood pr high blood pressure and you have not gotten accustomed to a fuller, deeper breath, then the breath of fire is not something that you want to do excessively. And in your case, even moderately, you know. Um, so it's something that you can examine how it feels in your body. Remember, whatever anyone shares with you, you adapt it to your process. So you examine it from your internal workings and your internal perspective. You pay attention to what happens in your body. And if it's something that feels good and something that feels healthy, you go ahead and apply that and you build on that practice. If it's something that doesn't make you feel good, if it's something that's excessive for you and your body in a space and time, then you ease off of that until, you're, until you've conditioned your body to be able to handle it. This is a conditioning process. So for those of you who have high blood pressure, you're typically up here fight or flight, short, short, shallow breath. So you want to get full of breaths. So this is a breath of fire circle, but I'm going to give you a tidbit if, in order to lower your blood pressure. If you're not in an excited state and your blood pressure is high, you can use the breath master technique to bring your blood pressure down. I'm talking as much as 10 or 15 points within a matter of two or three minutes. So what you want to do is you want to place the tip of your tongue to the roof of your mouth and curl it back. Then inhale through the nostrils. Nice and slow, or I should say softly. Then you release the tongue, drop the jaw, and you exhale with the. I got a comment from Beneficial Healthy Living. Yes, nice to see you down at the Gullah Geechee Herbal Fest also. Once again, tip of the tongue, roof of the mouth, curl it back, inhale slowly through the nostrils, softly and gently. Allow the lungs to fill up nice and slow. Release the tone, drop the jaw, exhale, making the ha sound. I pinned the comment with Gullah Geechee Herbal gathering in there for you guys so that you can have that in order to be able to access the repeat online. So go there, click that link, and see if you can join, pay your dues, and get all the information and knowledge from the 11 presenters, which includes myself. So once again, this is for the high blood pressure people. Tip of the tongue to the roof of the mouth, curl it back, inhale, Release the tongue, drop the jaw nice and slow. This is going to lower the blood pressure. Mm -hmm. 
the longer and slower you inhale, the longer and slower you exhale, the more you're going to lower the blood pressure. As you're inhaling and filling the lungs up, when you pause in between, the carbon dioxide and oxygen exchange is happening at a slow pace. By the time you gently exhale all of the oxygen, all of the carbon dioxide out, that carbon dioxide has had the time to relax the heart muscle, relax the constricted vessels. So this is how your blood pressure becomes lowered using the breath master technique. Now let's get back to the breath of fire. Remember, I gave this to you because of the comment that uh, I received or the question um, about the fire breath not being so good for somebody with breath pressure. Remember, when you're online, you can get a lot of things. You can get clarity, you can also get confusion. The thing is to know what it is that you're asking you and to know some aspects of what it is that you're doing. This is why it's good to be trained by someone who is skilled and who has had practice and knows the effect of these things on the body. This is why you go to Breathmaster Debbie, uh, Breathmaster Paula, Breathmaster Asset, excuse me, you know, and a few others that are, are trained by myself who can teach you breathing techniques. This is why you go to yoga practitioners as well. Um, Anybody teaching breath work, Tai Chi, Qi Gong, all of these things help to lower the breath pressure because of the application of the breath. And when you want to get very specific on the breath, then you want to come here and get your breath master certification so that you can become adept at this process as well and that you can share this information with others. So let's get back to the breath of fire. You got to do it with the nostrils. Tip of the tongue, tip of the roof of the mouth, as with the breath master technique. Curl it back and inhale through the nostrils, mouth closed. Lungs nearly filled, breath of fire. Notice the abdomen, not the chest. If you're going, that's not good. You want to push from here. Reconditioning your breathing pattern. Activating those abdominal muscles. The other thing I shared with you last Wednesday was play with it. Create a rhythm. Dance with it. It is your body. It is your practice. Own it. Activate it. Utilize it for your benefit. You are the beneficiary of your practice. If you want to make that a dynamic benefit, you have to make your practice dynamic. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it up. Thank you all for joining me. I look forward to many, many more days, months, years to come with this work. I give thanks for the opportunity to honor my mother and my father, to know that their work of creation of this vessel is not in vain. So honor your mother and father. Do good works. Peace.